Episode of GH Music Discuss, I sit with the legendary Zab Mallet. He has produced countless hits and has also contributed to the Ghana music industry. We'll talk about his regrets and some challenges as well. Do stay. Zab, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. I'm really looking forward to have um to having a good conversation, open conversation. Absolutely. And a sincere one. Absolutely. All right. So um, let me move straight into the conversation already. Yeah, let's um, dive. yeah. You have been a major contributor to the music industry. Mm-hmm. And I want to find out. It looks like uh, hip life, hip hop genre, mm-hmm. like some people mm-hmm. say it, has not been able to hit the global market yet. Why do you think it's so? Oh, I, I've, 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 it's something I've really had thought of. For, for some time now, mm. and uh, having thought about it for all this while, I realized that uh, the problem we have in this country is consistency. Mm. Because after after a while, hip life just dropped out and changed into something else. Our trend mm. of music it changed from hip life. It went to Azun to it went to other things, it went to Jama and other things. So it's like our every every moment, every generation comes or every trend comes, and then after a year or two, it changes. After a year or two, it changes. So it's like we are not consistent with what we are doing. And consistency is what plays the game. Mm-hmm. If you go to countries like uh, Jamaica, which we, we always like to make an example of, Jamaica plays reggae. And that's all they've been playing. Even dance hall game, which happened to be trendy music. But they still kept to their reggae. They still kept consistent. We had young cats playing reggae. Uh, we've had young cats like Chronix, Chris Martin, and all uh, Tyros Raleigh. Up doing reggae, and then we have their their dance hall, uh, 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 posse too. Okay. That's the Buzubantins, the uh, uh, Sizzla, and the rest. But it's still the reggae. We know that dance hall came from reggae. So you see that they, they maintain a certain consistency. You go to Cuba, it's, it's salsa. You go to Congo, it's sukus, uh, other places. But as for us, it keeps we keep changing trends. We keep changing. We keep changing every time, every generation. Our trend changes. And when it happens that way, nobody can follow you. Mm. Yes. That's why somebody said somebody was confused because it's not being consistent. <laughs> but you need consistency in a certain sense. Okay. Yeah, and to keep it viable okay. and dynamic. Yes. Okay. And um, you have a genre like hip hop. Do we really do hip hop here in Ghana? In Ghana? Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, hip hop is, is just a lifestyle, you know. The hip hop is actually a lifestyle, and the, the music is, is the hip hop music is part of the lifestyle. And so uh, it's, it's a lifestyle that was imported from the, from the diaspora, which we found uh, our brothers and sisters in the diaspora doing, which we found uh, ident- we could identify with. So uh, it seems as if uh, we are doing hip hop. It seems as if we are doing. Scenes. Yes, but Emphasis, we are trying. Yeah, on yes. So that means we are not because it is it is not natural ours. with us. Okay. It's not natural with us. What is natural with us is what we know to be our traditional stuff. But uh, apparently, uh, as as we all know, Ghanaians we like foreign things. So when the foreign things come, we latch onto it and sometimes to our own detriment. Okay. Yes. Okay. So um, what can we do to get our music or our hip life, hip hop, high life music to the global market? Oh, I, I think we need just to be uh, consistent. As I said, okay. we have to be consistent with whatever we are doing. If we are doing her life and we know, okay, okay, Ghana, we are known for her life, we should maintain her life. Yes, it should be there. We can do other things. I'm not saying that we shouldn't do other things mm-hmm. because music is, is open to everybody. Okay. Music is a, it's a universal thing. Okay. Uh, it's not because I'm English, so I shouldn't sing. I'm not English, so I shouldn't sing English. Or because I'm not Greek, so I shouldn't sing Greek. Mm-hmm. But somebody can be, can be Ghanaian and sing Chinese. You understand? I mean, uh, when Stoneboy did Putu, who really understand, understood what he did, he was saying. But it, it became a hit anyway. Yeah. So you don't have to stop people from doing other kinds of uh, uh, genres. 
But what I'm trying to say is that what, what, what we have, we should maintain it. And be consistent. And be consistent with it. Okay. And I'm sure, by consistent, I don't mean that we should remain where we are. We should have dynamics of it, like change, sounds come, like we are getting new sounds, new sounds on the computer. I mean, we should change with it, but still remain the consistent as we are, still remain playing the high life that we are playing. Not, not to play the old thing, or, but at least put some life, youthful life in it as a kid, but still maintain it. Like, uh, like I mentioned, Reggie, when you go to Jamaica, Chronics them, they are young guys, young cats playing reggae. And reggae was playing, you know, before Bob Marley them, reggae was there. But because we are having you young people uh, 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 delving into it, it gives it some young life. It gives it some young uh, dynamics so that everything becomes new and fresh. You understand? <laughs> but if we don't do that and we just neglect our high life and we just keep going uh, other other trends or other styles, styles, we are going to lose it. Mm. What is happening? Okay. Um, let's talk about the music industry mm -hmm. as a whole. What opportunities do you think we have missed out on? Oh, we, 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 we've missed out on a lot. Uh, I think uh, I'll mention, I haven't said that, I haven't asked this question, I'll mention uh, what Osibisa brought to the board, mm -hmm. brought to the table. Osibisa was the Osibisa lifted Ghana to a certain level, and I think we could have continued from there, but I don't know what happened on the way to heaven. Nothing, nobody has been able to break that, that record, or, or for want of a better way, nobody has been able to set or hit that mark that Osibisa hit, which I think is regrettable. Because by this time, yes, by this time, with Osibisa having made it to that point, we should have used it as a lever, or a fulcrum, or, or a step to catapult Ghana music. We could have used if just one group, Osibisa, to have catapulted Ghana music. But it seems as if uh, we have diversified into other things. And this is the same consistency thing I'm talking about. We don't, uh, we are not consistent. If we had been consistent, like there would have been other groups coming up like that, and would have made things more uh, interesting, open up uh, a, a, a huge floodgates. But unfortunately, we are not. So you mentioned regret. Uh... Mm -hmm. Yes, because I, I, I was thinking that we could have made inroads mm. with that opportunity mm. because Osibisa opened a lot, mm. a, a huge opportunity for, for us. But unfortunately, we couldn't walk in their steps. Okay. And I'm using the word we. I, I said we because I'm also part. You okay. know, we are all, we couldn't. Uh, so. Okay. Yeah. And at a point, uh, speaking of regrets, at a point you mentioned you regret being a son. I read. You read? On, yeah, I read mm -hmm. online from mm -hmm. a credible source, yeah. anyway, that you regret being a sound engineer in Ghana. Oh, no. Well, actually, what I actually said was, this is a noble profession mm -hmm. in a wrong location. <laughs> it's a noble profession in a wrong location because in a right location, in a noble profession, you can imagine what it is like. Because in, in other jurisdictions, musicians really make money. They make money out of their creativity. But over here, it's a bit, people take things for granted. Mm -hmm. But this one, this should be, you should have, you could have done it in five minutes or 10 minutes. Meanwhile, meanwhile, they must have taken the person a whole day to have done it. But you see, because of the level of appreciation of the art in general in this country, that, it also hurts, mm -hmm. you know. So um, you could do a lot of things. You could have, uh, you could have a lot of things to out of it. Whereas um, in, in other jurisdictions, one hit sets you up for life. The late the song for uh, Michael Jackson, Pretty Young Things. Uh, uh, Pretty Young Things, that song, he, he was part of. He wasn't even the one who wrote it. He was, I think there were three. He was part of it. And he said, look, all you need is one hit. After that song, the guy was made, he was set. And he could choose what song to write. Okay, but what could be done to make this thing better? Because it looks like... You see, but my problem is that um, I don't think we have to reinvent the wheel. Mm -hmm. The wheel is turning in other places and it's turning so well. So why don't we just go and get the wheel and see how best we can adapt it to our, our situation. If we have mud, we have grass, or we have uh, sand or gravels, or so we just adapt the wheel to it and then just move on. Because they have, they have the, their systems there. And it works for them. Mm -hmm. 
You understand what I'm saying? Uh, for instance, when I was on Gamro, I was on the Gamro board uh, when Kujimchi was the chairman. I was insisting with Mr. Simons. I kept insisting that we needed to educate people when it came to copyright, both the uh, copyright owners and the users. Mm -hmm. On both ends, we need education, but obviously fell on deaf ears. Because people don't even understand what it means to even be collected. A, a lot of musicians themselves don't know what it means, copyright means. Yeah. Some people feel that because they came to sing or came to play in your song, they to deny they need to be uh, copyrighted for it and stuff like that. So we ourselves, we don't understand what copyright means. We, some of the artists themselves don't understand what copyright means and how to demand and what to demand and what to expect and all that. So we need to even educate. And apart from that, we need to educate the public too as to usage of material and recompense for it. Yes. Because um, when you go to other uh, environments, like uh, in, for, for instance, France started this copyright thing way back in the 19th century, 18 something. America was the last who adopted this copyright thing. That was in 1920 something. So you can think. It's, 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 it's a long way. So even for, for now, generation, as soon as you are born, you know that Charlie, excuse me, you know that you, ha you have to go and get the copyright. You know, you know that you need a license to, to, in order to use somebody's music and all that. You are born with it because that's a system, that's a situation, that's an institution. It's been institutionalized before you even come to use or, or be of age to, to do your business in music. But over here, we are now implementing copyright systems. People don't get it. So it's like, ah, Makoto Mika said, Na me bo e wo me club, or I'm playing, playing at my pub. Why should I pay for it? So we need to educate more. We need education more for people to know that, look, once I take Nas music, and I'm, even if I take a picture and I want to use it, I must have, ask her permission and pay her for using her image or whatever. But here, oh, after I've taken a picture I'm using, what's the problem? I'm promoting her in that kind of thing. But... Um, people come on the show, mm -hmm. they speak about education, education, mm -hmm. education. Are they really practicing what they are preaching? I feel as though because there's no change. We have to, we have to make an... Yeah, there's, there's a problem. The problem in Ghana is that we talk and we don't find solution to our talk. We talk, talk, talk. Everybody, what I've seen so far on social media, radio and TV is we come and sit down, talk, talk, talk about the problem and will not talk about solution. Mm -hmm. Who offers the solution and how do we offer it? When do we uh, 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 implement it? How do we implement it? Who do we implement it with? Is it with government? Is it with ourselves? Or is it with other stakeholders or whatever? But we sit down and we always bickering, mm -hmm. talking, this person has done there, this person solution that, okay, this is what I'm coming up with. But the point too is that sometimes People feel that they offer the solution and it falls on deaf ears. So what am I supposed to do? So they end up sitting back and then just keep bashing. <laughs> so it makes like the, the whole landscape very interesting. Wow. Yes. Wow. And you've, you've been a sound engineer for so many yeah, years. Decades. Yes. So, so many years. Yes. And you have produced groundbreaking hits such as um, Lord Kenya Sika. Mm, yes. yes. And um, till today, when mm -hmm. we play that song in the clubs, the, oh, yeah. yeah, when you play that song in the clubs, um, the quality is uncomparable. Yeah. Um, I want to find out, um, listening to some of the songs we hear today, what are we doing wrong? Because when you listen to songs like I'm saying, Sika, mm -hmm. the sound and the quality is nowhere near the current crop of music. Mm -hmm. what, what are we doing wrong? Well, I think um, things have changed and uh, the technology of recording has changed. So people, uh, it's, it's recording has become a bit easier. Mm. Um, and so people forget that it takes uh, a lot to even record and to come up and to shape up the recording and color and color it and so on and so forth. Because it's, right now it's easy, computer sort of things for you. Mm. So the creativity, the creative aspect is low and the technological is high. It's high they, they, because people are depending more of the technological uh, uh, help than the creative. So it's the creativity. I think the creativity 
is now and uh, people are just uh, depending on the on on the technology. Mm -hmm. the, the the dependence on the technology is is disturbing us. Is that a way for it for us? Like, is it is it? Oh no 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 no! Um, it's, it's it's wrong because that's what creativity there. Uh, it, you know, computer for me, computer is gig garbage in garbage out. Mm -hmm. Whatever you put in is whatever you, is what you get. So uh, if you don't put in creativity, it won't create for you. You have to put in the creativity. So it's, it's not right. But then at the end of the day, people want their daily bread. So they just end up doing anything, you know. And sometimes these days I hear people can do a whole recording, a whole song in three hours, mm. which mm -hmm. for me, I find very... Uh, Upset. Uh, well, for want of a better word, mm. I find it very funny. <laughs> Because in creating, it takes a lot to create. Okay. Uh, even just, just, uh, God didn't take so one day. Okay, let God me didn't ask. take one day to create the world. It took about Seven, six days. Six days yes, we're still on the <laughs> even Almighty, who could have said, "Okay, let there be everything," but it took time mm. to create. So let me ask you mm -hmm. this: How long did it take you to um, um, this guy's song, Lord Kenya's song, mm -hmm. Sika? How long did it take? Oh, it you took to me a day. A day. Yes, no, more than a day. Because normally what I, what I do with Lord Kenya is I program the beat for him. Mm. He comes to pick it up and then he goes, runs with it and comes to do the vocals and then he goes. Mm. And when he finishes the vocals, he's finished. He, he doesn't come dictating to me whatever. I do whatever I want. Mm. So with that one, I pour in every uh, creative juice that comes. Mm. I pour it in and uh, okay. I can spend a whole day mm. uh, creating, yes. Okay. Um, there's been debates on artists of the year, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the the category uh -huh. artists of the year, the public mm -hmm, deciding mm -hmm. on the winner. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Uh, what's your take on that? What do, what's your take on that? Oh well, I think uh, you see these these are awards are organized by human beings like you and I, and they have their aim, they have their objectives, they have their their reasons why they organize it, and they have their categories, they have their criteria, and so it happens to be their criteria. Whatever happens to be their criteria is what we have to follow. As simple as that, isn't it? <laughs> yes, because they they are running it. You might have your opinion about it. I may have my opinion about it, but it doesn't make a difference because at the end of the day. But don't you think um, we are we are whatever we are going to say on this show now will not make any difference, will it? Well, it, it, <laughs> as I'm exactly. talking about in the in, in the in the interest of the result of the of 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 the. And I don't think that should be the that should be the norm. We should, be able to, we should be able to have conversations uh, that okay. will, you know, make oh, a difference. Okay, okay, okay. I hear, you know. I hear, I hear. <laughs> you know. I hear, yes. I hear. Granted, I hear, <laughs> I hear. So, so um, for me, I think the VGMA is all about popularity. Mm -hmm. it's, it seems to be an excellence award. Yes, I, I, I beg to say this, but it's, it's about popularity right now. Because if at the end of the day, me as an artist, I can even go and buy credits, and vote for myself, get my friends. What, what then where is the competition? Mm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's about texting competition. It's about how much I can get to, 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 to make money for the telcos and not for the music. Mm. Not for the music. I'm not talking about not for the artists, but not for the music. Mm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mm. I, get, I hope you get my yeah, point. I, I hope it. I'm not being no. offensive no, to no, anybody. No, 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 no. But the Go thing ahead. is that, yes, it's a, I think it's just a, a, a public. Uh, uh, award is no longer an excellence award because if it was an excellence award, you have technical people, uh, what do you call it, who are number one, not uh, 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 who are who won't cringe to any kind of influence. Yes, I'm talking about technical people who will not cringe to any kind of influence, but influenced by you know what I mean, people who can sit down and tell you that this this one dear, this one is better than this one sounds, better. but as it is, it's open to the public. Anybody can just decide that, okay, me, I like this one, I like this one. There's nothing technical to it. You understand what I'm saying? Or oh, you don't get my point. Get yes, there's nothing technical to it. So everybody has an opinion. Mm -hmm. So even people who don't, who can't even differentiate between pitches, or you don't know C from D or from E, can even can have an opinion. You understand what I'm saying? But if, uh, uh, it's, a, it's, it's going to be a technical opinion, then let it be technical. Then we know that, okay, this one is coming from the experts. Mm. Because at the end of the day, when COVID came, who, who was giving the, the instructions? It wasn't the health scientists, it wasn't the health experts. Yes, but when it comes to music, other people give 
Yes. And so it becomes a, a competition for texting. So if I have money and I can get uh, people to uh, vote for me, I just get them to vote for me. So it's not about how good I am, mm. but it's about how good I can text mm. or I can get people to text. Mm. Let's be plain. Let's be, let's be plain about it. I'm calling a speed a speed. So me, I don't see it as an... Uh, as it, it's no longer excellence for me. Mm. It's more of popularity. Mm. I would, yes, for me, VGM is popularity. So such that somebody can say, oh, but this guy, what did he, what did he, what hit did he make? What did he, did he, but meanwhile, maybe his song is, when you talk about quality, like you're talking about Lord Kenya's quality, when he talks about, when you talk about quality, maybe his has more quality, but because he wasn't able to make noise within a particular year, the other one who had more money to text happens to be, you know, so it's like, for me, I think the, the whole award scheme has become award for hire. Simple. Don't go and quote me on social media you. somewhere. And then go and put me there. I said, uh, BGNA, uh, Zap says BGNA is a word for hire. I beg you. I beg you. On that, on that note, to take a break, we'll be right back. <laughs> right, welcome back, and you're still watching GH Music Discourse, and we are having conversations that will fix things in the music industry. Zap. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> no, <Nah>, yes. <laughs> How has VGMA improved, um, help improve the music industry? Uh, if you say music industry, it's, it's wide. Yes. Uh, I'd say it uh, has helped improve the music okay. or music in Ghana. Okay. Um, perhaps the music industry, okay, fine. So it's helped in uh, helping telcos make a lot of money. And, and all that. That's for that one day, you know. But uh, the, we have to also ask ourselves, how has it been able to improve the music that we do? Are the categories that they award helping Ghana music or is rather uh, dipping okay. things? Yeah. Yes. And I think that's a question for all Ghanaians and their stakeholders to ask. Mm -hmm. That uh, moving forward, we are doing all these awards, all these things are happening. Are we, are we doing it for the benefit of the industry, or we are doing it for the benefit of, of our, of our, of our businesses. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's not, it's not wrong doing anything good for your business at the end of the day. But if the music that you are using as a business tool, mm -hmm. if you don't protect it well, it might break down and you might not get anything to use again. Okay. So you must hold and, and use it well. I see. Yes. I see. And still on music, mm -hmm. um, how do you feel when you wake up and you hear? 80% of songs played on our radio, mm -hmm. Ghanaian radio mm -hmm. stations, are Nigerian songs. Who are playing them? That's a question we have to ask ourselves. Are they the Nigerians playing them on the radio or the Ghanaians playing Ghanaian. them? Ghanaians. Yes. So what is wrong with the Ghanaians? Now, you and I know that originally, for, since, I, since before I was born, Ghanaians will love foreign. We love everything that comes from outside. If it is local, it's a big problem. We'll go for Chinese rice, but we'll not consume our local rice. Am I right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Uh, so there is a problem, you know. Uh, I would I'd love to go and buy a BMW uh, four-wheel or M-Class instead of buying a tanker. Tan -tan you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. You see, so we have that kind of tendency already in the first But place. it's very problematic. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. But the, the thing is that, you see, we don't have to make that... Uh, that thing, we don't have to let it be a problem between us and, and the Nigerians. It's not the Nigerians doing it. It's like the Chinese come to do Galamse here. Mm. Who are leading them to do the Galamse? Who lead them to go and dig the forest and, and the, it's the Ghanaians, isn't it? It's the same Ghanaians who are sitting on radio playing the Nigerian songs. Isn't it? Mm. So what is it in the Nigerian songs that they find so, so interesting, so attractive, so not they, they tend to play them 80% than, than, than Ghanaians. That's what we have to ask ourselves. But how do you as a person feel when you hear, you know, Nigerian oh, songs taking over our airwaves? Well, I've gotten over it. So, I, yes, I've gotten over it. It was something that used to bother me, but I've gotten over it uh, over the years. I've thought that, look, we just have to up our game mm. and get our game to be better. Uh, probably our, our, our brothers or our sisters in the media will, will, will appreciate us when we up our game. Mm. Probably the Ghanaian artists are not even are not are not matching up to a certain standard according to by or according to the media who are playing the music. So I don't know, maybe well, maybe we need to look at it 
technically. So what say. advice would you give the um, Ghanaian musicians? Maybe they are not doing something right or something. Yes, maybe so what advice not... would you give them? Um, they, 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 they should just uh, go back to the drawing board mm. and then look at what they have, they have done wrong, probably. Probably there's something they are not getting right in their songs. Probably, probably, probably or lyrically, they are not getting something. I don't know. I, I can't. I, I, <laughs> I, I'm not the one to bring out to, to, to come out and say it I, because I can't tell. I haven't done the research. I don't know. <laughs> you know, you understand what I'm saying. But what I'm saying that maybe, maybe something lyrically, mm. maybe it could be the problem. Maybe the lyrics we use, maybe our artists are not adept at rhyming or something or using um, um, relevant lyrics or something. I don't know. Uh, maybe the lyrics we use are too uh, elementary, are too basic, are too. Mm. Uh, uh, it doesn't. Th those things don't really appeal mm. to 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 the market, and mm. uh, those are some of the reasons. I mean, I'm mentioning technical reasons, mm. but there could be also um, administrative reasons, okay. probably marketing reasons, why we are not okay. uh, uh, coming out. Why the Nigerians? Because the Nigerians are here when they are coming, they come with force. Mm. When, when you give one artist a chance, you have five other Nigerian artists coming in. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because they, they come, they are, they are, they are multitudes. They, so when they are coming, they come in droves. But we like to creep in one by one. Oh, so you yeah, like this person has creeped into the Nigerian market somewhere. This guy has worked, has been able to creep his way. Maybe VIP. They've been able to creep into the Nigerian market. Then you are there and then you hear, okay, Shatawali or Lad Kenya has been able to creep into the Ghanaian and into the Nigerian market. But the Nigerians, they don't come like that. Mm. When, you, when you hear of Tiwa Sabe, you hear of uh, uh, Marvin Records, you hear of this, you hear of Techno, you, hear, you know, they, they come in their droves. But we like to creep in gradually, you know, oh, small and sunny. Mm. I don't want my towel for myself and that kind of thing. And that doesn't help the Ghanaian. The Ghanaian is too individualistic in everything he does. Okay. Even when we are playing ball, we'll leave the striker to be on top by himself. Nobody to help him. So we can't we can't right, get so anywhere. I'm just I'm just thinking about something in my you know mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, between timeless songs and commercial songs. Which one do you think the industry needs the most? Um, I I I I I think both 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 of them have their places in society. I, I always make uh, this statement and I've made it on Facebook before. A lot of people didn't understand. I said every song can be a hit, mm -hmm. but it's not every hit. That is a song. song. I saw that. You understand? Yes. So every hit, can, every it's song all... can be a hit. So you can write some timeless songs, but it'll be a hit. For instance, look at this lady song, Dana Hamilton. Uh, that, uh, uh, okay. the, yes, it's a beautiful song. And that song is timeless. Listen to it, you realize it's timeless, but it's a hit. Compare it to another song, to another song which is supposed to be a hit and you realize that no, that is not, that's not a song but it's a hit so every song can be a hit but it's not every hit that can be a song okay is, um, is there something wrong with doing music for the money just the money oh no 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 I don't I don't, I don't think so but uh, uh, if, if you're just going to do it for, for the money there's a worry there because sometimes it can get tough you know, uh, music can be very tough. It's a very tough um, uh, terrain to be in. It's very tough. The, the, the turf is very tough. You know, so if you're doing it just for the money, you might get frustrated in the mm, end. Mm. Yes. But oh. um, if you're doing it for the love of it, it keeps you. Some of us have what we do. We don't do anything. We are not selling bread. We are not, uh, we are not selling tea. We are not selling anything. This, this is what I've been doing for all my life. Mm. I've built my house, I've had my children, I've done everything through music. Mm. I've driven my car, everything through music. I haven't sold anything. Mm. I haven't dealt in anything apart from music. Okay. You know, so, uh, yeah, it, 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 it's good when it gets. Mm. Yes. Okay, so if a young producer, a young music producer is wondering if it's worth doing music producing mm -hmm. without any side job, mm -hmm. In Ghana, is it possible? The problem with like, music production is that you have to have time for it. So when you have other jobs, it's going to be difficult to handle the two. Yes, because music, music, music is, is like a lady. Music is like a lady. You must have time for her. If you don't have time for her, you fall short. It's not going to have time for you too. So you must have time for her. Otherwise, you're going to dangle between that and your day job, and it's going to be a worry. 
You understand? Because this one will be pulling you, this one will be pulling you. Mm. Yes, because music is, is, is a very strong force to work with from the beginning. So, mm -hmm. uh, so of course, I mean, as right now, things are being streamlined to things are being worked on, like in terms of especially copyright, that is where the bulk of the money comes from, from, from musicians. Mm. As of now, I don't know whether if even any, any artist performs at any show, whether he knows that he has to call, call it copyright. If, if you, now mm -hmm. you go and perform your songs mm -hmm. at a show by any company that invites you, maybe Coca-Cola invites you, they have to pay you royalties for even using your songs for the show. Mm. And I wonder even if, if they do that in Ghana. But have you ever received any royalties? Oh yeah, we receive royalties from Gamro. You know, blanket license. How much? It's nothing to write home about, and uh, you can almost every artist will tell you it's nothing to write home about. But maybe that's the reason why probably they don't even want to, because it's not enough. Yeah, yeah, you know. But uh, you see, like I said, when when other other industries come in, like uh, you are getting like endorsement and mm. things, it, it makes up for it. Like getting getting endorsement deals, like you know, getting banks to take up your song, using your song for for adverts and things. It works up. It it, it, it compensates. It makes up for it, isn't it? <laughs> well, um, our producers, music producers, were all celebrated here in Ghana. Well, uh, not not that I not that not that I wish not that I wish, but, uh, but we, to a, to a, to an extent, yes, amongst us mm -hmm. we do, but. It's like the one who is up front, the, that is the artist. He's the one who, is, who, who most people see. Who most people see. is the artist who most people see. The producers are more like behind the scenes. Mm. And so if anything is going to come, it's going to come from within themselves. Mm. Yes, but apart from that, I mean, I think it could be better. Mm. Yes. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what has life taught you recently? Recently, um, life has taught me Never to stop learning. Learning has no end. There are things, there are things, all, with all my years' experience in even engineering and all that, there are things that I've really learned lately that I'm surprised my, at myself with that. Because I never knew that there were some things I was doing wrong in the past, which I thought was, was right. But I just got to realize that, ah, okay, it could, have been, it could have been done this way. It could have been better done this way. So no matter how much you know, you still have to know. So don't stop learning. That's one thing I've learned okay. lately. Okay. And what do you want to be remembered for? Well, what do I want to be remembered for? Um, remembered for making an impact in the lives of people, uh, in, the make, in, in influencing the lives of people, mm -hmm. uh, in other, other producers, other artists, and other people who have looked up to you, you know, in the past. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And has any event tickled your emotions? No. Uh, well, at this stage in my life, nothing t tickles me. Nothing. I, I'm, I'm not surprised at anything anymore. Mm -hmm. Nothing really fans. Uh, I've grown beyond something, so I'm not really fascinated by uh, 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 um, by certain events. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm not really moved. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for being My a pleasure. part of the My show. Pleasure. And I believe the head. <laughs> well, I believe you don't misquote me. Oh, well. Please. The videos are there. <laughs> the videos are there, but sometimes the captions. I'm not going to misquote you. <laughs> anyway, thank well, you so much. And I want to take this opportunity to celebrate you. We are proud of you. Thank you. And thank you for being a part of this industry. I'm a we appreciate every single investment you've made. I'm humbled. And we don't take it for granted I'm humbled. at all. Because, I mean, um, because of you, some people like us are where we are today. Yeah. You know? So thank you so much. I'm humbled. I'm humbled. God bless you. Amen. Okay. Amen. I, I really need it. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.